My name is Olufe Oshideko, and I'm part of the fellow cyber girls in the US state. Some people don't actually believe that my name is Fela. They're always like, are you sure? I have two siblings, and I'm being raised by a single parent. My dad is a Marwa driver. He uses it to convey people to and fro. Sometimes he doesn't even make enough for us to go by our daily basic needs. Due to this, a friend of mine told me that I should come down to Lagos so I could get a better job to be able to support my dad. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't believe I'm crying. <laughs> okay. You can do this. Oh, fella. Calm down. I hope I've not spoiled my makeup. <laughs> but when I got down to Lagos, things did not really work out as planned, so I had to come back to Ibadan. Then, a few months later, she sent me a link asking me to register for the Cyber Girls Fellowship. And luckily for me, I was picked to be part of the Cyber Girls Fellowship in Oyo State. So far, I've learned a lot of technical skills, art skills, and soft skills. Before I joined Cyber Girls, I actually had no basic computer knowledge, nothing about cyber security. Now I can actually perform SQL injection attack on a website just to check if the website is vulnerable, provided that there's a written agreement between I and the person that wants me to test, because it's actually illegal to just go out there and start testing systems. It is illegal. I could get <laughs> I could get a jail time for it. So now I can make use of NMAP to scan for open ports in the network to try to check what ports are open, what services are vulnerable. Because as a penetration tester, an aspiring penetration tester, one of the basic skill sets that I have to have, which I am already building, and I'm happy that I'm making progress already, is gathering of information, information gathering, recognition. Because the more information that I gather about a particular network that, I, that I'm hoping to pen test would actually make the work easier for me, would aid in enumeration and further exploitation. Also, I can make use of metasploitable to hack into systems, that is, if they are vulnerable. I can make use of hash crackers to now to crack passwords, to crack password hashes. I can make use of John the Reaper and other, other Kali Linux tools. So being top 1%, being among the top 1% on track, I mean, <laughs> it was not really easy getting there. Like, it meant that every day, I had to put in the effort to learn something new, learn, 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 relearn, and learn. There were days when some things don't, I just don't understand. Like, I'm just staring at something, I'm, I'm staring at a task. I've read through, but it just doesn't really make any sense to me. And I just get frustrated and I'm like, no, no, no. Are you sure this is for me? <laughs> so, but, but then I, I have to like go the extra mile, probably look for walkthroughs or look for an article to read just to, try to make it clearer for me. And sometimes it might just be that like I've been stressed because sitting in front of a PC for long would might make me feel stressed. So sometimes I'll just sort of walk away from the PC, walk around and come back. And there were days where I had to like stay extra hours back at the orb just to be able to like achieve my goal for that day. So far my learning journey on track me has been super amazing. I have 16 badges to my name already. I have Bopped, I have Ashwaka, I have a uh, 19 day acting streak for maintaining a 90 day acting streak in a row. Now, I, I think I'm on the one to study already. And the beauty of it is that on track, you have to continue to like answer a question per day. If you don't answer a question per day, you lose all your streaks. So right now, I am planning to gain a 180 days acting streak and on to get gain a 35 day acting streak and I'm, I'm i'm proud of my goods i'm proud that i i could move from top 20 percent now to top one percent i'm proud of myself <laughs> so my biggest influence is mrs confidence stably i love the work and energy she's putting in i love the way she shows empathy towards mankind i love her character the way she behaves I love the fact that she's free to everyone and she's always willing to help. She's always willing to take a chance on anyone, irrespective of where you're coming from. I love what she's doing with the Cyber Girls Fellowship because <laughs> words are never enough to describe how I feel. So she's my biggest influence. When I become a successful school hacker, I'm going to also help to liberate more people, especially the girl child, to let them know that they can actually become whatever they want to be. Because 
<laughs> I did not see any of this coming. If anybody was, if anybody told me like a few years ago that I was going to be in the tech space, I was going to like deny it because I, I always believe that tech is for people that have super hyper brains. So I don't, <laughs> I don't consider myself as that kind of person. But I now, now I, I, I believe that I can do it. So if I become a successful ethical worker, I'm going to help liberate more people, inspire more people with my story and let them know that they can actually do this. They can do it. So to you out there, I just want to encourage you that irrespective of whatever challenge you're facing or whatever background you're coming from, you can be whatever you want to be and be who you want to be. Look at me now. I'm a cyber girl. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say a big thank you to CyberSafe Foundation for creating this fellowship. I want to say a big thank you to Mrs. Confidence Stavely. I want to say a big thank you to all of my facilitators for making this learning experience a great one because, to be honest, this is one of the best things to ever happen to me in my life. It's a wrap now. <laughs> Oba! <laughs> Okay. Mabo, mabo, mabo. <laughs> <laughs>